Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a projector. Uh, this is an entry level budget projector. I got this one from Banggood, so they sent it to me for free for review, but my opinion is my own and they didn't pay me to make this video. Now the projector name is called Chloe and the model number is M8. Uh, this is a 1080p uh, projector and that's about it. There is not much information on, on the AdWords itself but given this is a budget um, projector I'll let you be the judge of how good or how bad this is. So I'm going to do a open box review video and obviously I'm going to show you how this works out in my studio as well. My video is not scripted. All I'm going to show is what your money can buy and in a real life scenario what is it like to own a budget projector like this. I uh, hope you find my information useful. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. So let's open the box and have a look and see what your £71.96 can buy. So you come in the box like this. This is tiny and um, doesn't weigh much in the palm of my hand either. You say here rated power is 45 to 50 watt. Um, I got the UK version so hopefully it comes with a 3 pin plug. Inside the box, you've got your projector, which is well protected by this kind of a bubble wrap. And you've got your instruction booklets <coughs> and the projector itself. Look at how tiny this is. So definitely portable. Okay, so it comes with some um, swaps and a microfiber cloth for you to clean the lens with and you've got one more box here which I think is the cable and the power supply so you got your remote control you got your HDMI cable and you got your power brick so this one is a 15 volt um, adapter at 4 ampere and that's it that's all the contents from the box the projector itself is made of plastic casing all around. I can see the heat sink through the left hand side of the machine with some ports um, on the side here. So you've got your power inlet, which is a DC input. You've got one HDMI port. It's a full HDMI size port, a USB port, an AV port and the headphone jet. In the front, you've got the lens, which is covered at the moment. So you've got the lens cover. On the top, you got the <coughs> adjustment focus. Oh, I like this focus. This is really smooth. On the top, you got a few um, functional buttons. You got your power on buttons, as such. And I can see that you got a remote control receiver, both on the front and on the back. So on the bottom, you got your anti-slip fit as well as a quarter-inch tripod mount. So that is quite important if you want to mount it on the ceiling. So this is a close-up of the projector. So you've got your heat sink here. You've got all the ports on the side. On the top, this is the focusing mechanism that I was talking about. You've got your button here with an LED display. Uh, speaker on one side and then you can see a filter here as well and that's about it so it fits on the palm of my hand now I do have big hands though so you know this is not a miniature one but this is kind of tiny so I have the projector set up here so this is facing the wall over there this is connected to the power supply the remote control doesn't come with any battery so you need two AA batteries and now this is projecting on the screen now this is exactly at four meters from the wall so this is the biggest size of the screen that you will get from the manufacturer. Now you can see that there's a very faint a, uh, layout on the wall at the moment because this projector is not designed to be used in full studio light. So let me switch off to, uh, some of the lights so you can see what it looks like. So at 4 meters away from the wall you get 112 inches diagonally. So, so 112 inch TV on the wall if you're four meters away and obviously you can go closer to make it smaller as well and if you go closer you get higher resolution and a much brighter screen as well but for a movie enjoyment and stuff like that if you want big screen this is as big as this is as big as it will get so on the side of the machine you've got a HDMI port which I can plug in the Amazon fire and then I can use the USB port to power it as well feed 
to HDMI. So at the moment the screen shrink because I think I'm on Zoom for some reason. So let me see. So a lot of you will be thinking that okay, you know, if the machine is so far away but you don't want the screen to be too big, you can use the zoom function. So let me unzoom it. All right, so I'm on Amazon um, Fire Stick. So this is the streaming. And you can only see the pixel when you are about arm's length away. So this 1080p, I guess, is not like a 4K projector, but if it is a 4K projector, you'll be looking at like a thousand pound at least. Now this is the latest Fallout, which I haven't seen it yet, so... So I'm about two meters away, you can see how sharp the picture is. Okay, let's watch something else before I get demon demonetized or... Okay, so this is a clip that I uh, uploaded on YouTube. I filmed it in 4K, so I know this is a good quality uh, feed. I uh, just want to test out the audio and the video for you guys. So I'm standing behind the projector about a meter away. So I'm quite close to the projector at the moment. The volume is on 90%, so um, I'm going to start playing now. So this is my drone video in 4K. Now I'm going to go close to the fan, I'm going to stand right next to the projector. So, I'm literally right next to the fan, so hopefully you can hear the fan noise. And I'm going to stand back. So at 90% uh, percent volume, I can hear some distortion. So at 70% volume, it seems to be very good, there is no distortion and I can still hear the music very loud. Okay, so this is the USB menu. So I got my um, USB drive in there and then I'm going to play... So this come to the end of my video. Hopefully I can show you what this projector can or can't do. For £70 you get a tiny projector. On its own it can't really do much, but you can always uh, attach a Fire Stick or a Google Chrome, those kind of a streaming stick through the uh, HDMI port. The USB port you can plug in a hard drive or a thumb drive and you can play a recorded movie on the machine itself. So at 4 meters away you get over a 100 inch diagonally um, measured screen. So this is a budget projector, you can't use it when all the light is on so you do have to dim the light. But at 4 meters away you get over a 100 
inch diagonal screen which is fantastic for viewing videos and even to sing some karaoke. This is a budget projector and you can't use it in full daylight or with all the lights on. In fact, when you switch off all the lights, that is when this works the best. I do like the focusing system here. Um, it is smooth and it, you, you, it is smooth and you feel really in control. For speaker, there's only one speaker on this side here which um, I managed to get about 75% uh, volume out of this machine. Anything above 75%, you start to get distortion. But that is crazy loud anyway. Just to overcome the fan noise, um, you do need to have about 50% onwards. It does have a uh, audio out, so you can always connect that to your uh, speakers or to a sound bar as such to overcome the small speaker problem. Overall, the menu system is easy to navigate. The projector on its own doesn't do much because you have no built-in um, media system, but when you plug in your uh, Fire Stick or when you plug in your own uh, thumb drive, then you can actually enjoy the streaming media or videos that you recorded. It does come with a headphone jack, so you can actually have this connected to your hi-fi system or soundbar or external speaker of some kind, which I highly recommend it if you're going to watch high quality content. And uh, that's all I have time for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadgets. Bye bye.